Hi everyone. I have had several requests from people to share the brushes that I use for gel application. In front of me right here is some of the gel brushes that I really like to use. I prefer to use a, a gel brush that is very soft and the sable hair uh, brushes as opposed to the synthetic white plastic looking brushes that they use for gel. I just feel like with the natural hairs like sable and Kalinsky hairs, I feel like for me the application is better. I'm not 100% certain that these bristles are natural hairs, but they sure feel like it and this is the type that I really like. I don't really use a real big brush for gels. I like a smaller brush and I'm going to go through and show you the ones uh, that I prefer. And let me say this, that all these brushes that you're looking at here were all purchased on eBay and they weren't that much money. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a good brush. Maybe it doesn't have a company logo on it. Some of the brushes that they sell come from the same place. I've seen it and I know it. So, But anyways, now that we've got that out of the way, I'll show you my most favorite brush, the one that I'm using lately. This is my most favorite brush at the moment. Beautifully decorated here. And this is a two-way brush. Here is the side that I use for gel. And I believe this is like a six or seven. It didn't really, you know, when I purchased it, it didn't really have the size, but I think that's what it is. That's my most favorite size right here. But on this end is a very fine liner brush. This brush here was about $5.50 free shipping. And let me give you an up close look. Here is an up close look at the bristles. And as you can see, they're really soft. I just prefer that. And then if I turn it, you can see how together those bristles are kept and that's just how I clean the brush and that would be the next video I show you is how I clean my gel brushes and bring them together this is the next brush and it is very pretty pink and if you take the lid off that's what the bristles look like there it's about the same size as the last brush and I paid four dollars on and here is that up close and again, you can see how nicely the bristles have been brought together. This is like the last one, only it is uh, purple in color, but it is a different size. It's much smaller and more narrow. I believe it is a size five or close to a five. And I paid, I think it was like $2.50 or $3. And here is that brush up close. It's darker in color like a dark brown bristles, very soft as well. This next set here, I got about two years ago on eBay, of course, and I paid like $10 and that included shipping and handling, close to $10. Here's what they look like, like this. And the bad thing about this is that there's no lids that come with these brushes, but they're really nice brushes. Um, this is great for uh, striping gel, and detail shows this one and these are great for uh, applying gel to they're a little bit on the large side like I said I prefer a smaller brush because I think that for me I just have better control um, once you start doing gels you'll know what size brush you feel more comfortable with in front of me you see that last set that I showed you here and like I said they don't have any caps that come with them I've had some acrylic brushes and some other small striper brushes that were uh, like what I'm holding here's the caps that went to those brushes some of them I that were acrylic brushes that were just terrible brushes the bristles went bad so I saved the caps now I fit the caps on top of these brushes here don't ever throw out um, any of your old brush caps because a lot of times they will fit on your other brushes. Here are all the brushes up close, side by side, and I really love these brushes. And like I said, you don't have to spend a fortune on one brush. 
because you know where do you think that those companies are getting their brushes a supplier in china the <laughs> same place you're getting yours but hey you know if you want to spend that much then you know go for it but anyways all the links will be in the description box below click on them check them out do a search perhaps like i said you could find them cheaper and cheaper is all the better and i hope this helps you all that we're wondering Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.